the sweat from the estate sale straight to the body is crazy. You said this is your grandpa stuff? Yeah. Can I see the inside? That's gorgeous. You move into a house, go in the attic, and you find that jacket. Yeah. No chance you'd ever sell it, huh? Here, top of the freaking morning, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. If y'all are new, welcome. If y'all are returning, y'all know I appreciate y'all. Heavy. We were estate selling it today. Uh, not as early as I'd like. I was kind of a little bit of a sleepy head. But uh, I don't know, not really that promising as far as the pictures that they showed in the sale. But I'm just taking a risk because I need a little mental break from the bins, you know what I'm saying? So we're just stopping and checking it out. It looked like there were some old things, not old clothes, but I'm just trying to just take the risk and see. I'm just hoping that they didn't post any clothes, but there are clothes, you know what I'm saying? I think that's kind of why I was like, all right, I'll come late just because I don't think there's gonna be that many vintage heads like me. Um, but I don't know, I could be wrong and I could take the L, but we're still here though, we're still here. We'll go check it out. We're here in the freaking expensive area of San Diego. I love this area though, one day I'm gonna live here. One day I'm gonna live here. From the sweat of my brows and the filthiness of the rags that I buy. Damn it y'all, looks like a lot of people, but have slippers and all. It's my marker y'all. Soaring through now, y'all. Nothing too crazy. Bunch of good blanks that I'm gonna be printing on once we release the website, but just some good mids that for sure will sell. Still gotta go through it, but here. Yeah. Um, can I give you a hundred? Yeah. yeah, that's good. Thank you. Thank you so yeah, much. You. Take care. Hundred buckers, y'all. It was around like, I think I would say a little over thirty items. She literally just said, "What do you think is fair?" I don't know. One hundred is just a even number, and there's nothing really too crazy here. So don't worry, y'all. I'll show you what I got. Everything, probably my favorites. A lot of it was blanks, but like I said, I'm gonna be printing on those, and they were good blanks. There was a couple that were like seventies blanks, eighties blanks. I'd be doing y'all a disservice if I only ever provide y'all fashion or thrifting, vintage, whatever content. I gotta be real too. So if there's one thing you guys can take away from this whole video, it's this. Passion, inspiration comes and goes, but discipline lasts forever. Look what I'm doing right now. I don't feel like filming in my room, honestly, just because it's repetitive and been filming content there for so long. It kinda just bothers me just always filming there, but sometimes I do what I gotta do. I'm moving soon though, looking for an apartment once me and my wife get married. I mentioned that because this. I can very so easily be like, oh, I'm not inspired to make content right now, like reels and shorts and alpha videos. That's where discipline comes in and commitment. What could I do instead? And obviously y'all have been seeing the process. We've been using this backdrop to get photos of the vintage clothes on the site that we're gonna be releasing soon. I was like, you know what? <sighs> whatever it takes, literally whatever it takes, I'm gonna use that backdrop, put a chair in front of the white paper and film some content. And literally yesterday, I was so annoyed at myself. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but I followed my feelings. I didn't feel like it. But today I was like, you know what? Forget the feelings. I'm not saying feelings are bad or wrong, but if you merely follow just feelings in life, like sometimes it'll take you nowhere. And you can take that and apply it to so many different things in life. It's great to be inspired, but if you only move on inspiration, you're only waiting for moments. Find inspiration in the commitment and the discipline of what you gotta do. My DJI mic is uh, under construction from DJI themselves in the motherland of China. And so, uh, I'm trying to film a mic'd up video, but the DJI is cool because they have like an attachment you can go straight into the iPhone. Right now I don't. I'm borrowing the homies road mic, so what I'm gonna do is record right there and just attach it, sync it up together. <laughs> it is what it is, all right? Look how dope these are. Those silver cross stud earrings. Alrighty, y'all. Uh, Gave me this basket for free too, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. A lot of these items are, uh, actually no, a good amount of it, I can put out at events. I got an event tonight actually in LA. It's a small little music event. Um, we're just local independent artists and then the only two other vendors there are me and a coffee person, so 
Hopefully it's good, it's only like an hour away from me. It's like Orange County, LA, but uh, tomorrow I got my favorite day-to-day -day vintage. That's kind of just been the tricky thing with like trying to curate for the website because it's already hard enough to find clothes and so it's hard going to events and selling clothes but like not really selling as much as you would like but also understanding that it's like a loss that you kind of got to take now because you're saving the good stuff for the website and I don't know, it'd be pointless for me to be making a website doing all these things and then not have good stuff at the site just because I wanted to make a sale now. Anyways, I'm rambling, let me show you. A lot of these have to be washed and cleaned. Purple blank, with nice little variation of colors in that ribbing right there. Same with the sleeve ribbing. I'll try to go through these quick actually. This dead stock anchor blue. Hopefully wash this, bring this out tomorrow at day day vintage where all the y2k people love to show up a russell athletic it's like a ribbed sweater just red blank oh this one's cool like an older gap cardigan boom grandpa this one's sick for sure like a 70s probably like a wool acrylic blend you see tags kind of ripped out but nice black cardigan another y2k sweater thing this one's utility with a little v-neck this one's cool a little aop Really got any t-shirts here, it's all like kinda like outerwear stuff. Simple guys, sometimes you just gotta keep life simple. This one needs a wash. I actually really like that design, how it kinda arches over. Oh, little Donald Duck! For sure going out tonight and tomorrow. The Lighthouse Inn, I don't know, random. Oh, these gloves I got for myself, y'all. Some of these aren't sick. Little fur line, it's so comfortable. So comfortable. It's like now getting warm in San Diego, but I don't know, so cool. Ooh, this is a nice little fader blank. Boom. I don't know, either got faded or bleached, but I don't know, came out cool. Really nice, actually. This is sick. Got some gussets right there, going along to the armpit. This one's really nice, wow. Might keep this. Little 80s baby blue joint. Got a yellow one. Stay tuned, I think we designed a pretty nice little print to put on these vintage garments. It's gonna be on all like hand curated, hand picked blanks like this. Nice Mavericks tag right there. Boom. Pockets are kind of cool on this one. This one's a nice like grayish brown toned Russell. I wish it was a little bigger. Boom, super nice. This one's cool. I wish it wasn't cut though, but it's faded black. Got some pockets right there. Pretty legit if you ask me. This one's a nice pink joint. White 70s zip up. Wow, yeah, I did get a lot of blanks. Got a nice little Gap flannel right here. Yo, Gap's been low key killing it, y'all. Like, I don't know, ever since they did that Sean Witherspoon thing, they've been rolling out like really nicely, like inspired by vintage garments on their Instagram. Ah, oh, there's another one that was freaking cut. But this one has a nice fade on it too. Neck was cut, a little 70s shirt. Boom, 70s, 80s, denim button up. Nice colors on the shirt. A little Kings Road plaid shirt. This is a nice flannel. Look at the colors on this. Ooh, nice and thick too. Black shirt with a corduroy collar and corduroy sleeves. A little leather jacket right here. Look at the pockets here though, it's weird. Slanted pocket up here. And another slanted pocket down here. Got another leather jacket right here. This one's a nice cut. Boom, for the ladies for sure. Oh, look at this little Sherpa thing. Got some straps closing it in. Kind of unique design here, huh? Pretty dope. Pretty dope, nice gray color. And we got like three work jacket type of things. First one right here is like this baby blue color. This one's like an 80s one. Flat YKK zip. This one's a nice 70s brown color one. That's it though, y'all. Some good, uh, what do you call that? Restock and replenishments. But yeah, let's go to LA. What y'all know about the avocado boba smoothie, dog? Homemade, this saves me like $7.50. $8, $9.50 if you tip at a boba spot. I know a lot of people aren't really that uh, accustomed to avocado in a smoothie, but I'm telling y'all right now, it's probably the best flavor. Also y'all, the sweat from the estate sale straight to the body is crazy. I'm rocking it this to fit. I forgot about like this bright orange beanie I had. I'm glad I remembered it. And then uh, I don't know if y'all can see, but these uh, over dyed black sailor pants. And then I'm rocking these brownish uh, grandpa loafers. That's the fit. I'm running late to the event. Let's get it. Also, y'all, I'm locked in on the meal prep, right? <laughs> Don't trip. 
Pistachios, pork with paper towel, salmon and rice, heavenly hunks. I'm locked in. Thank you, yeah, of course, thank you. Can I see the inside that you showed me earlier? That's crazy, that's gorgeous. No chance you'd ever sell it, huh? I get it, it's so good, it's so sick. Oh my god. I told you. Oh, careful, careful. It's okay. Yesterday, man. Well, my name's Daniel. Do 360. Yeah, thanks for the shirt, man. Yeah, you can see it better now. So you said the story was that your dad yes. found it? In an attic of a house we bought. Oh, in the attic of the house we bought? Was yeah. there other clothes yeah. there? No. Just this? Like three or four bomber jackets. That was it. From so like you a move war. into Literally a house. You move into a house, go in the attic, and you find that jacket. Yeah. The offer <laughs> stance. Y'all, I promise you I tried. I really, really tried my first official off the back challenge. Oh man, but she loved that jacket and I think it's she said it's become like their family thing and so I don't want to press the issue but uh, at the same time I did let her know that I'd be down a cop um, Wow oh it's so beautiful anyways that intimate market was actually pretty dope independent artists were just singing uh, playing their own music she's super legit there was people that was doing coffee someone selling jewelry jerry anywho we are on our way to day to day market right now but making a quick little pit stop at this other sale started at 8 um, pulling up at like 8 35 8 40 I don't know I'm just kind of like it's on the way I'm not coming early on time I was knocked out y'all I got home last night and I like ah, like almost 12 and then had to get ready for bed and all that good stuff. I wanted to wake up at like 5 originally, but you know? Anyways, let's see if we can find anything worthwhile here. All right, y'all. So I did get uh, some things and nothing crazy. Just some good stuff that I'm gonna put literally on the racks right now within an hour or so. I got there, there was already like two like, I don't know, like young college kids, high school kids. One of them said they got a reverse weave. I'm like, I, I should just leave now. But no, I stayed around, dug around, found some goodies, like some sweaters that for sure will sell. A total was 77, that was including tax. Nice sweaters, boom, boom. It's a nice little Janssen one right there. Two shirts, nice uh, plain black joint. This one's barely legal. Are these, are they hanging up human beings? Yo, what the hell? <laughs> okay, nice blank. Another sweater, High Sierra. I'm telling y'all, San Diego people eat this up. Nice little black striper, Eddie Bauer joint. This one's like a little Henley. Green sweater, tan sweater. These nice white Levi corduroys. Nice size, 32, 32. Pair of soldier ball. Oh no, these are the big dogs, big dogs. Here's the Maroi front soldier, boom, boom. Size 32, boom. And then Bugle Boy pants. Nothing crazy, nothing too old, but let's behold, it'll still be sold. Hey! Bar! <laughs> Here we go, y'all. Literally straight from the estate sale to the racks. Let's go. Hey, how are y'all? Oh, These ones I was in 35. 35. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming by. Let me know if it got sent. Summer? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Let me get that off the hanger for you. Homie Snoozy Alex gave me a bunch of these vintage pins to try and sell for him. Look at this one. No whining. He actually gave me two, too, for me. It's like two Jesus ones. Super sick. Straight from the estate sale. All right, uh, Venmo? Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Enjoy it, dude. Thank Take care. So Have a good one. Girl, I don't know where you at right now, but. Cat, cat, 
Live reaction, live live viewing. You said this is your grandpa stuff? Yeah. Okay. I gotta grab some more because back back of the ranch there's like a box full of them. I Dude. Think some some ones I grabbed. Okay. As y'all see, homie pulled up on me. He actually bought something for me earlier and he watches the video, so shout out to you dog. He said he pulled up on his grandpa. Had a ranch, bunch of old clothes. What a come up. And so he pulled up on me, sold me some clothes. There's a few things that he was kind of high on. I told him, honestly, bro, get your money on it. And there's this six cigarettes tea that I honestly really wanted as part of the bundle deal that we ended up doing. But it meant a little more to him sentimentally. So I was like, you know what, keep it, whatever. Enough yap, y'all. Let me show you guys what I got from him. First of all, we got this uh, nice faded, like 70s leather jacket. Um, gotta work on the armpit right here. I didn't realize that the stitching was kind of undone. Nice little uh, patch right there. And I got these two hats from him. The little yellow fuzzies are still intact. I got this red one. Fresh Express Vegetables. Orange Tab Levi's. These are actually a regular pair. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, nice dark wash, orange tab Levi's. Got this little red zip up, button up kind of thing. Nothing crazy. It's on a Euro Screen Stars tag. Boom, y'all see it. I don't know, I think this might be like a skate thing or like a band. Got this sand knit cardigan. No moth holes or anything. Great condition. Got these two lime green button ups. This one's actually really pretty. I wanna see if I can fit in this one. And a little bit more of a solid green. Boom, boom. Nice fade on this Harley Davidson shirt. Front hit, back hit, single stitch. This 2000s Pennywise shirt. F war it says. Boom. And then we got this shirt, second trail of tears. And he said too uh, that his grandpa has way more in the ranch and his grandpa has homies that have other ranches too and that he's gonna see if he can buy or get their old clothes. So. Might be an ongoing plug. We talked about it already. He keeps hooking it up. Obviously, I'll keep buying. There's one more tea. It was a Stussy tea. It was sick. Let me see it. Also, just came back from Vegas. You guys will see in the next video after this. Bought a bunch of stuff. Got a bunch of stuff. Little Stussy shirt. Boom. Nice tag. It's a nice boxy medium, though. Let me know if y'all want any of these. Hit me up. We did 100 on everything. Shout out to you, my boy. Hopefully we do more business. But yeah, y'all, as always, I appreciate all of you watching the videos, watching me slang some vintage, buy some vintage, show off my fashion, show off my style, my personality. Just overall, thank y'all for effing with me, messing with the boy Heavy. Follow me on IG if y'all haven't already, Miguel B. Patron. And yeah, y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Why did you walk in the room, girl? You're making it harder to function. Step on the scene, you're looking at me, and my heart started jumping. And they'll never get it, cause baby, they think it's just casual loving.